I was working on a 1999 Mitsubishi Montero Sport with a 2.4 liter engine and one word of caution when you're changing out the timing belt is that uh, you want to make sure the oil pump sprocket is in the correct orientation. Um, a lot of times um, the oil pump sprocket is in the wrong orientation and as a result you'll see and feel a lot of um, engine vibration. And so one of the things you want to test to see if it's in the correct orientation or not is that go ahead and uh, align the timing mark on the uh, sprocket to the timing mark on the engine body. And you might not, not be able to see the timing mark on the engine body, but it's right where my finger's at. And even though right now it looks like it's lined up, go ahead and uh, rotate the sprocket in one direction or another. And you'll see that when you do so, it want, the timing mark wants to fall away from where it should be. So you can see that. And so that's an indication that the uh, oil pump sprocket is 360 degrees uh, out of orientation. And like I said, what that's going to happen is that if you install the timing belt in that orientation, you're going to get some excessive vibration coming from the engine. And so in order to uh, correct that, you want to go ahead and rotate the sprocket 360 degrees around like so I'll go on do now and then align the uh, timing marks up and then go ahead and uh, rotate the sprocket a little bit in one direction or another and what you'll see is that the sprocket wants to come back to the correct orientation like so so you can see if I rotate here it's going to come back to the correct orientation same thing if I were to rotate to the other side like so it wants to come back to the correct orientation so that's a clear indication that the oil pump sprocket is in the correct orientation and then you can go ahead and align the remaining timing marks and install the timing belt. Okay, thanks.